Hey yo, what's up squad? Uh, today we're gonna do an in some interesting stuff with the camera But before we get there, I'm actually on my way to my sister's house um, I had a little bit of an accident yesterday, I hit a rock with uh, with a bike And uh, actually went to the track there on Sunday <laughs> Actually, they told me my brakes are done, uh, which, which I only saw at that point. And uh, I thought to myself, well, it's Friday, and uh, I'm going to take one more last trip with the bike before replacing the brake pads, you know. And uh, I had a bit of an unfortunate one, and I uh, hit a rock, and now my rim is bent, tire went flat, and I needed to call someone to pick me up. And what a mess! So I'm going to go to my sister's house now, and uh, we're going to remove the wheels and uh, get them fixed and sprayed. So usually I know you'd replace the tire, but uh, we can, uh, there's, a, there's a specialized place here in South Africa, in Joburg, Oberton, that I'm going to use to replace the rim, and uh, they've done a previous job for me and went quite well, so why not do it again? <laughs> Currently the wheels are this, this uh, blue which is supposed to match the blue of the bike, you know, this blue. So uh, I don't know, I don't know, I, I like it as it is, but uh, we can use this opportunity to do, to, to do something interesting. I'm thinking matte black, I don't know. Um, let me know what you think, what, what should we do? Maybe you should go way out and, and choose a, a color that doesn't even match the bike. But uh, I think uh, <laughs> we have time to play now, so I'm going to do my homework and see what we can come up with. Uh, but let me know what you think, uh, what color we should go for the wheels. Okay, so uh, we are packed up, tires in the back, uh, let's go back home and uh, send them off this week to get painted. Okay guys, back at the man cave. So uh, I have a lot of things to talk to, uh, to talk about before we get to uh, the actual video. Um, so I've been quiet for quite a while and the reason of it being um, I've actually started a business. So it all started out with uh, something I wanted to do for with the YouTube channel, but uh, it escalated quite quickly and uh, I don't want to share it yet, but yeah, I'm very excited about it guys. I can't wait to launch it. There's still a lot of things, things that uh, need to get done before then, but uh, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, and I, I hope it's something where I can uh, uh, share a little bit of my passion and uh, you know give back to the world through this way. Anyway guys, so we are here to see something cool that I learned on uh, lens flares. And uh, it's actually, <laughs> I bought this strobe light. And uh, what I did is I, I set my aperture and my ISO to such, such an extent that everything is dark around me. And... <laughs> What I actually did is put on my cell phone light to see if I, what's what's on the lens if the lens is clean. And I saw it makes for the coolest lens flares ever. So what I'm, I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna turn down the ISO to 100 and shoot up the aperture to let's say F16. Uh, turn off all of the lights around me. So it is dark, it is night right now. And uh, then I'm gonna turn on my flashlight and I'm, I'm gonna show you the lens flares that you can do. And there you go, the F stop, F18, Let's do the ISO to 100. Get out the phone. <laughs> take out the phone and then just take it past your lens. I mean, how cool is that? So what, I, what you need to do is record a video um, there where you can imagine a light flare ring. And then what you do is you take your light flare and record, record it specifically for that video. And then uh, after you've done that, you can always uh, color grade the light flare. So we can fix that in post. And that's the worst phrase ever. But uh, anyway, we can change a, a bit of the lighting or the color um, in uh, post production. And then what you can do is you get cool results like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, I hope that's something that you liked. Uh, it's just, like I said, uh, I accidentally stumbled upon it and uh, I can see myself using it some places uh, in the future. Don't know for now what I'll use it for, but uh, I think that was pretty cool. <laughs> so guys, ideas that we learned together and uh, if you can think of other cool ways, maybe using flashlights or other means where you can use flash, uh, 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 light flares, um, I almost, almost want to say it would be cool if you can use it in like a daytime setting, you know. Um, but anyway guys, it was fun to make today. Uh, let me know what you think about the wheels and the bike and the colors if you're into that. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and we will see you in the next video.